You can't get through your day without oh, Power 1017. All right, 624. Jess, what's going on today? All right, so about 800 students were caught out of an Alabama school on Wednesday due to a terrible stomach bug that is going around. It 700. Lo- it is. And 73 students were absent due to this stomach bug. Mm. It happened at West Elementary School, Fairhope West Elementary School. They are going to close. They did close Thursday, Friday. They're taking the weekend. More than four dozen staff members also missed school starting on Wednesday. Nausea, vomiting are the standout symptoms. Classes, hopefully, will resume there on Monday. It's so, like that. Again, about 800 students had wow. to call out of school on Wednesday due to that stomach bug. Mm. Mm. And it is terrible. I'm here to tell you. <laughs> you experienced a little bit of it? A little. <laughs> <laughs> Last week or whatever. I haven't been through something like that in a very long time. Wow. Yeah. How many? And thank goodness for me. Yeah. It was the weekend because by when I came on Monday, I was struggling, but at least I was up out of bed. You were on the end of it. Yeah. How, so how? So what would you say? Like three days, three, yeah, four Friday, days. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay. And I mean, it will knock you on your butt. Yeah. Thank goodness, like, I was able to shift some things around, cancel a few things. Did you take anything for it? I could not leave my bed. I couldn't move. <laughs> so it was like that. <laughs> it was awful. Any meds or anything? Awful. I tried Pepto. Yeah. Now? That, that will turn your diarrhea black. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what about the nausea? Nausea. I didn't take anything for that. You just, I mean, for me, you just got to kind of, like, just keep it empty, keep your stomach empty, and just... But you don't want to, like, dehydrate. It's... No, I wouldn't do water either. Water for me did not work. Anything you put in comes right back out. So just... You're fine a couple days, just... Okay. <laughs> You're fine a couple days. But then when you do start eating again, keep it real light. Banana, maybe some applesauce here or there. The old saltines. Yeah, maybe some toast, some yeah. crackers, but nothing too heavy. And just remember, whatever goes in is coming out. <laughs> You've got to figure out how it's going to come out. Uh, yeah, because my daughter was sick. You know. Oh, it's just terrible. Do Gatorades, and, light-colored Gatorades, when yeah. you start feeling like you can sip on something. She Well, she went to the doctor, Ugh. and they ended up giving her something. And she said when, when she took it, she felt better. Good. But then when it wears off, it's back to the same. Yeah. I almost went. Okay. Almost. I even looked up that place in Rehoboth where you can go get an IV. We were going to pay the $99 and get it. What do you do? You just go get an IV. Yeah. You can get an IV. That, that when you have a hangover? And there's like different ones, different prices. I was looking at the least expensive one. You can just go pay to get an IV. Yeah, there's different ones you can get. When you're dehydrated. You can get a different cocktail. So it's for re- it's really about <laughs> it's really about like when you're hungover. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But you were going to go because you were sick. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, because there's different ones that you can you get. Gotta you tell, can customize you, it for yourself. You got to tell me about that off the air. Oh, yes. Well, there's two different ones we found. I don't get hung over like that yeah. like I used to. No. I mean at all, but <laughs> yeah, but, I'm just I mean, asking. Honestly, you don't even need it like for a hangover, if that makes sense. It's just good for you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, I like that. Yep. So, yes, that stomach bug, again, 800 kids, staff, they had to be out of school. All okay. Right? They're going to take the weekend. Uh, Firefly, did you hear about this? I did. It's not returning to Dover in 2024. Like originally planned, festival organizers took to social media on Thursday to announce the news saying that Firefly Music Fest will not return in 2024. We look forward to powering Firefly's lights back on someday when the timing is right. But until then, the Woodlands will continue to host new music events for years to come. You think it's going to be done? I kind of feel that. Yeah. I remember last year they put out a statement. It was canceled. They said that they needed to just a year to regroup their lights. and they'll be back next yeah. year. But and then here we are again, and you know, canceled. This is gonna be like the pumpkin chunkin situation. Because maybe you know someday when the timing is right, but I don't know. And it says that Woodlands will continue to host new music events okay. for years to come. So yeah. I, I just kind of feel like maybe it's it's done. But that's just, you know, my opinion. Well, look, we got the... Uh, it had a 10-year run. Yeah. No, I mean... So... Again, I've talked about my daughter. She was upset about that yesterday. Because she said... Uh, her and my son said something 
about, oh, you're going to get Firefly tickets this year, yeah. like earlier in the year. Yeah. And when I sent her that link yesterday, she sent back the sad face. Yeah, you know, I, I mean, know. that was. Yeah. I know. Well, I guess we can put all our energy into Ocean's Calling. Yeah, that's huge. Put all huge. our energy into, that is huge. you know, um, Delaware State Fair yes. concerts and stuff. Yep. So. Absolutely. Okay. And then, I don't know if you heard about this. It was trending yesterday, but there was a Kent County couple who was convicted of abusing and torturing their children. They've mm. been sentenced to more than 150 years in prison. 46-year-old Mary Vinson and 37-year-old Charles Vinson were sentenced on Thursday to 106 years and 49 years in prison, respectively. The pair was convicted in September of 2023 for abusing their children, including making them stand for long periods of time, withholding food, force-feeding them, the and violently and physically assaulting them. We are told that both children were hospitalized several times as a result of the abuse that was called on video via cameras placed in the kids' rooms. One of the kids was 10 years old during the abuse, and the other one was between the age of 11 and 13. Wow. But Crazy. yesterday... They have been sentenced to more than 150 years in prison. Good. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And beware. They don't go for that in prison when you mess with kids. Mm -mm. So, so I hear. 630. It's the Bill and Jessica show. We got a 47 ABC update coming up and Jessica's celebrity buzz on a Friday the 1st. <laughs>